Today for the Bitcoin price, Bitcoin is not only here still trapped in the symmetrical triangle, no, we also broke down here from our three months trend, from our ascending wedge. So the question right now is, is Bitcoin eventually going to break down and reach our technical price target all the way down here at this horrifying price level here? Well guys, if you are a bear, I want to tell you, you shouldn't get all too excited right now because there is evidence in the charts right now that we might be holding these specific price levels and eventually get the breakout all the way up to a specific, very surprising price target I'm gonna be sharing with you towards the end of the video. Well guys, if that wouldn't be enough, I also want to share with you this specific chart here. It came out recently from Plan B and this chart is right now expecting a Bitcoin price of 18,000 US dollars here if you count in the correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500. You do not want to be missing out on that so make sure you take a seat, you scroll down, you smash up the like button to at least 3000 likes and that being said welcome crypto fans and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris and as always we are really pumped to go straight into the content. Okay guys, we are starting here on the daily candles for the Bitcoin price and as you can see here, Bitcoin is still in this symmetrical triangle since with the last fake outs here, we never got the daily close which we mentioned as a necessity, as a requirement for us to go bearish. And right now I want to talk about the technicals because they couldn't be more interesting at this specific point of time. I will be going into this data here from plan B, 100 trillion US dollar, which indicates that the Bitcoin price right now is under value towards the S&P 500 in that matter that we should be 8,000 US dollars higher at 18k but I will be also talking about other economic data which is right now horrific. We will be talking about all of that but of course let's start with the technicals since they are extremely interesting right now and as you can see we are still here trapped in this ascending triangle and, and if I were to go over here on the four hourly candles and pull out the EMA um, four hourly ribbons you can see that the Bitcoin price right now is perfectly fighting here once again with the resistance here on the EMA uh, for hourly ribbons and you can see how um, yeah they were actually perfectly also providing support during the uptrend and of course resistance here during bearish phases for Bitcoin and right now you can see we are fighting with it once again if I were to diminish that and also pull out the VPVR you can see that Bitcoin is also here right now fighting with the VPVR point of control so it will be very very important here to to break this level here of yeah, 9,470, 9,500 US dollars decisively, especially on a daily candle, because I would say the daily candle is much more important. On the four hourly, we had fake outs to the upside and to the downside, but on the daily candles, you can actually see that the trend is pretty, pretty clear right now. Not only the overall trend here, but also the trend in this symmetrical triangle. And what we can see if we are zooming out a little bit more here on this yeah, bordering ascending wedge which no one seems to be talking about right now you can see that we also on the daily we didn't have any fake outs here below or above actually we can see that we had a lot of touch points here um yeah below and above here between support and resistance in that asc uh, ascending boarding wedge and what we can actually also see is that recently we broke down here but of course we are still supported by this yeah, symmetrical triangle however guys if we wouldn't have this symmetrical symmetrical triangle which is still holding us here above the resistance above the support actually I mean then the technical target at least the technical target out of this yeah ascending bordering wedge would be all the way down here at 3800 US dollars and why am I saying that well the most important and the most known um, website here the patternsite.com from Bulkowski is actually mentioning that our breakdown target here is actually after the break down approximately at the low of the ascending bordering wedge and well the bad news is that this low here is approximately at yeah let's call it the 4800 US dollar level if we are connecting the can candle bodies which makes more sense here especially with this huge wicks and the massive volatility we had back then let's call it a 
target of 4,800 US dollars. Do you know, do I think actually that this is a realistic target? Well, I do not think so, but I want to shed a little bit light on that and I want to tell you what I'm exactly predicting here for the Bitcoin price right now. So first of all, it will be important to hold here within that yeah, symmetrical triangle with a daily candle. In case we are closing a daily candle below, not a four hourly, let me say that once more, a daily candle below this support line here, in case we are closing below, then I would still say, well guys, we might see this yeah, measured move price target of 7,600, 7,700 US dollars here um, yeah, after the breakdown. I think that would be a very realistic price target. However, not the 4,800. It will be very, very important to hold this um, yeah, 8,600 US dollar level because remember guys, since three months, we are in a bull trend. All the bears are right now coming out and saying, well, Bitcoin is here trending sideways and we will break down. Well, we are still in a bull trend. We have consecutively higher lows for Bitcoin. Every single low is a higher low. Every single high is a higher high for Bitcoin. So we did not break the bullish structure here for Bitcoin, even though this seems to be a little bit exhausting. Um, just solely from the technicals, Bitcoin is extremely bullish right now. And unless we are not closing here, daily candle below the um, symmetrical triangle and also forming a lower low at 8,600 US dollars, I will personally remain uh, bullish here and I will be personally looking out for a bullish bre breakout target for Bitcoin. Once again, guys, the bullish breakout target for Bitcoin is approximately at 11,800 US dollars. If we were to pull out this yes, um, symmetrical triangle measure, move price target here you see 11,600 not perfectly drawn 11,700 US dollars is the technical breakout target of course it would put us above the 10,500 US dollar resistance, which you all know is extremely important here to break. And we are in that for ages right now. So of course we wanna go above there and this technical target would put us above. And of course this breakout here would, us, uh, would put us all the way back here in this ascending broadening wedge. But you guys can let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think? Who will win, the bears or the bulls? Will we be breaking down and hit the 7,600 US dollar levels or, or even all the way down to the 4,800 US dollar level, the technical target of this ascending bottoming wedge? Or will eventually the bulls win? Will this trend continue? Will this trend not be broken? And we will continue the bullish trend towards the upside to 11,600 US dollars and then eventually to the 18,000 US dollars, which we mentioned here in the introduction. Well, guys, let us know in the comment section down below. I am still leaning towards the bullish side, especially as long we are not yeah, here making a new technical low here below 8,600. And as long as the bullet key market structure is not changing. Also, guys, big, big shout out to you. Yesterday, we published our DaVinci J15 episode, the first one since two weeks. And we asked you to smash up the like button. And you did, guys. Thank you so much for that. We got actually 3,000 100 uh, likes yesterday in a few hours so big shout out to you you are the best family out there it only takes a few seconds but us it really cheers us up i'm looking at the likes and i'm really always close to tears so thank you so much for your support guys it is truly not going unnoticed we really appreciate your likes we really appreciate your support and also guys of course i do want to be talking about here this yeah, S&P 500 Bitcoin um, kind of chart here from Plan B 100 trillion US dollar because you all know everyone is talking about the massive correlation, the positive correlation between the Bitcoin market and also the traditional financial markets. And well, guys, I wanted to doubt that a few months for a few, even a few years back in time. But so far, it really seems like Bitcoin is positively correlated and we still have to wait for this decoupling for Bitcoin. Of course, we are hoping for that to come as soon as possible since we all know that the S&P 500 is overvalued right now. However, this specific chart here shows us not only the correlation between Bitcoin and the uh, S&P 500, it also puts Bitcoin into a very specific exponential function because what Plan B actually discovered here, he was playing probably pay, playing around with some numbers and it seems a little bit vague, vague or far-fetched, but I will tell you exactly why this is actually a very interesting experiment. So what Plan B here actually did is he 
equal Bitcoin with this exponential function. And then this is the rate of change. He timed it by the S&P 500 points. So the valuation of the S&P 500 currently at 3050 points approximately and timed it by the power of 8.7. This is so far the perfect fit between Bitcoin and the S&P 500. And whenever the Bitcoin price is above the gray line, Bitcoin is overvalued towards the S&P 500. And whenever the Bitcoin price is below this gray line, Bitcoin is undervalued towards the S&P 500. And the interesting thing though is here that whenever the Bitcoin price is above it, the Bitcoin price just went below again because it's kind of overvalued here towards the S&P 500, at least in historical terms. But the most important thing here is whenever Bitcoin is below, we are not undervalued towards the S&P 500 for a long time, since 11 years. This happens only sh uh, throughout a short period of time. And you can see here, ever, uh, always when we are oh, um, undervalued towards the S&P 500, Bitcoin just, yeah, explodes above and uh, finds a new all-time high and right now you can see here after the halving we had this breakdown here the coronavirus breakdown bitcoin also broke down not as much as the s p 500 in that function here but you can see right now we are undervalued and at a perfect fit at a perfect fit of this model which was so far a perfect fit here if you take all the numbers into consideration bitcoin should be at a perfect valuation compared to the S&P 500, take it with a grain of salt, be approximately at 18,000 US dollars right now. And you all know the deal guys, we are at 9,500. So of course, take it with a grain of salt. But I think historically, this was a very interesting thing to look at. And um, of course, we all know, or at least you should be all in that in the same with the same opinion here in alignment with my opinion, hopefully that the S&P 500 right now is overvalued, whereas Bitcoin right now, at least in the long term is undervalued right now. And I will tell you exactly why I think this is the case. Let's go here to this specific chart. And you can see here the economic activity in blue and the Fe uh, Federal Reserve fiat currency printing in red. And I mean, look at this, and this is the exact reason why the S&P 500 is still pumping ever since we broke down in March. Look at it. The economic activity with the coronavirus just plummeted down. I mean, unprecedentedly, we never had that in the history of the financial markets. And at the exact time, of course, the Federal Reserve started with the printing press, started with the quantitative easing. And of course, the, yeah, the currency in circulation just went up by a huge number, by trillions and trillions of US dollars. So we never see an, a divergence like this and of course, this currency has to go somewhere. And this currency is eventually going into the S&P 500. And this is the exact reason why we can see the severe, severe overvaluation of the S&P 500 towards the Bitcoin price right now. And this is also why I think that prices of 11,600 US dollars, eventually 18,000 US dollars. And guys, guess what? Of course, in the long run, also 200, 300,000 US dollars of Bitcoin are inevitable in my own opinion scroll down smash up the like button if you share this opinion if not let us know in the comment section down below why and also guys i already asked it here on twitter let me know your hodl category what hodl category are you in right now we can see that the humpback whale is at 5000 bitcoin so whenever you are holding more than 5000 bitcoin you are a humpback whale whenever you are holding more than a thousand bitcoin you are a whale more than 500 bitcoin a shark a dolphin is more than a hundred bitcoin if Fish is more than a 50 Bitcoin, an octopus, 10 Bitcoin, someone was saying eight because of the eight uh, tentacles they have. But yeah, guys, let me know what uh, in what category you are with a crab as a crab. You have more than one Bitcoin and you are a shrimp if you are have less than one Bitcoin. Of course, don't take it as an offensive statement here because even a shrimp will eventually be a millionaire in the future. Since we all know with the quantitative easing, with the inflation, which is eventually going to come, Bitcoin's chances are pretty high to reach millions of US dollars per Bitcoin. So even a shrimp 
will be a millionaire in the future when it comes to that let us know in the comment section down below what group you belong to and that being said thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for supporting us in the affiliate section here in the pinned comment you will find the highest bonuses on youtube if you scroll down and you click the links uh, within 24 seconds you can get up to 200 dollars completely for free guys by clicking the link and by yeah signing up for these platforms and depositing 0.2 bitcoin but of course only if you are an experienced trader and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for clicking the subscription button thank you so much for yeah also clicking the bible tutorial which is popping up right there and we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always bye bye